the United Kingdom's move to begin mass production of the SG-1 Fathom Autonomous Underwater Drone marks a decisive evolution in how the Royal Navy conducts long-duration undersea surveillance and protects critical maritime infrastructure. Announced by the Ministry of Defense in November 2025, the transition from prototyping to high-volume manufacturing at the Helsing Resilience Factory illustrates not only confidence in the platform's technical maturity but also a broader shift toward sovereign, resilient defense industrial capacity. At a time when underwater competition is rapidly intensifying across the North Atlantic and Europe's maritime approaches, the SG-1 emerges as a new pillar in Britain's strategy for persistent, low signature, and distributed undersea awareness. The core of the SG-1 Fathom's operational value lies in its glider-style propulsion system, which relies on buoyancy changes instead of traditional propellers. This design is more than an engineering novelty, it directly impacts the strategic picture. By moving silently through the water column, the drone becomes nearly invisible to passive sonar detection, a crucial advantage in environments increasingly saturated with advanced acoustic sensors. Its energy efficiency is equally transformative. With endurance reaching up to 90 days, the SG-1 can conduct months-long missions without surfacing, transmitting, or returning to port, thereby minimizing the operational footprint and reducing the burden on manned vessels. In essence, the glider is a long-duration scout capable of quietly occupying key maritime choke points, monitoring subsea pipelines and cables, or shadowing adversarial submarine movements. For the British Royal Navy, integrating a system like the SG-1 shifts the undersea force structure in important ways. Until now, Persistent underwater surveillance has depended largely on patrol submarines, surface ships, and periodic sorties by manned systems. These assets are effective but expensive and limited in number. With the SG-1 Fathom, the Navy can create a distributed network of unmanned sentinels that operate continuously and autonomously, filling coverage gaps without exposing high-value submarines or frigates. The ability of the SG-1 one to remain stationary on the seabed is another significant advantage, transforming it from a mobile glider into a passive, long-term sensor node. This seabed capability makes the drone particularly useful in monitoring strategic undersea infrastructure, from fiber-optic communications cables to offshore energy installations. The platform's modular architecture enhances its adaptability across missions and theaters. Its payload bay can be outfitted with synthetic aperture sonar for detailed seabed imaging, environmental monitors for oceanographic data collection, or passive acoustic arrays capable of detecting and classifying submarine signatures. This modularity is not merely a technical convenience, it enables a single drone type to support a wide range of operational requirements, from anti-submarine warfare support to environmental sensing, all while remaining cost-effective. Future modifications may expand the drone's role even further, potentially allowing the SG-1 to function as an underwater communications relay or a platform for electronic surveillance, both of which would significantly enhance joint force underwater networking. The swarm capability built into the SG-1 design elevates its role from being an isolated asset to becoming part of an intelligent, autonomous underwater mesh. When deployed in groups, these gliders can work cooperatively, sharing data, adapting their routes, and adjusting their mission parameters in real time through onboard AI developed by Helsing UK. This machine driven coordination allows the Royal Navy to monitor vast maritime areas using a dynamic network that does not rely on constant communication with surface command nodes. In an era when adversaries increasingly target communications networks and satellite links, such autonomy becomes an operational necessity. Swarming also creates redundancy, even if individual drones are lost or compromised, the network persists, ensuring continuous situational awareness. The strategic environment makes the SG-1 particularly timely. Russian submarine activity in the North Atlantic has increased, and concerns have grown about hybrid threats targeting underwater energy and data infrastructure, systems that underpin Britain's economy and national resilience. In this context, the SG-1 provides an asymmetric advantage, 
persistent undersea surveillance at low cost and without the escalatory implications of deploying nuclear-powered submarines near contested waters. Its discrete footprint reduces the risk of political tension while still enabling the UK to monitor sensitive maritime zones and detect anomalies early. The decision to manufacture the SG-1 entirely within UK borders reflects a deliberate shift in defence policy. The Ministry of Defence's commitment to sovereign production is not just economic, it is strategic insurance against global supply chain instability. The Helsing Resilience Factories were designed to operate in distributed fashion, leveraging additive manufacturing, hardened digital design processes, and secure domestic supply chains to ensure continuity during crises. The SG-1 is the first major underwater system to be built under this model and effectively sets the blueprint for future British unmanned platforms. This approach aligns with the broader European trend toward strengthening domestic defense ecosystems in response to shifting geopolitical realities. Operational testing is already underway. Trial deployments in the Hebridean Sea are validating both individual and swarm-based mission profiles under realistic conditions. Engineers and naval crews are evaluating everything from acoustic performance to autonomy algorithms, preparing the platform for full operational capability by late 2026. Early indicators suggest that the SG-1 is meeting performance expectations, particularly in endurance and stealth, two criteria that define modern undersea intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations. Interest from NATO partners underscores the wider relevance of this technology. With subsea threats expanding across the Arctic, Baltic, and Mediterranean, there is growing alliance-wide recognition that traditional submarine fleets cannot fully meet the demand for persistent monitoring. Autonomous underwater gliders offer a scalable, low-signature complement to manned platforms, making the SG-1 a potentially attractive export or co-development opportunity. Should the UK decide to pursue export pathways, the SG-1 could become a cornerstone in NATO's collective undersea surveillance architecture. Ultimately, the SG-1 Fathom is more than a new underwater drone. It represents a strategic shift toward a distributed, sensor-rich underwater force posture that prioritizes persistence, resilience, and stealth. It enables the British Royal Navy to maintain near-continuous awareness beneath the waves without risking detection or overextending its high-end assets. As undersea competition accelerates and critical infrastructure becomes an increasingly contested domain, platforms like the SG-1 will play a decisive role in ensuring Britain can see, and act, across its maritime environment while remaining unseen.